Alright guys, we got a 2013 Hyundai Accent that the shifter cable has come loose from the shifter. You can see the cable right here. And the easiest way to determine whether it's from the shifter or from the transmission is if you come out under the hood and have someone move it while you're watching the shifter uh, linkage here at the transmission that's the linkage right there and if it's not moving when they're sh moving the shifter uh, you know from drive to park to reverse and everything then that tells you that it's uh, disconnected from out here or from inside the car so I've got some generic bushings. I have done nothing more. I've literally spent less than five minutes on the car. The shifter, this deal just snaps off. I used a screwdriver. I just got underneath the corner, snapped the first corner up, and then the rest of it popped up. And then as you can see, there is a connector right here. And it just hooks on right there. And you kind of just kind of wedge that right there and it'll keep it up out of your way. And I think that might be enough room uh, so we can get to that. I'm going to move the shifter. Where's the keys at? I'm going to try anyway. Yeah. I'll move the shifter all the way down just like that. So that I can hopefully get the bushing. Uh, Get a new bushing on there. Let me show you what I've got as far as the new bushing. Got a little kit here that you can buy. I don't know which one of these I'm going to end up using. This has got like a little variety pack. That one there might work. But I've also got this little pack here. There's the part number of that. Looks like it's probably going to be this one right here. Just by looking. But let me, I'm going to finish getting the rest of this piece off with a screwdriver. And then we're going to see about getting this piece on. So let's see what it's going to take to... Let me dig through this and see which one of these bushings uh, I'm going to use for this. Okay, I'm going to try to use this bushing right here. I think that one's going to be the perfect fit. There's the part number. Ordered off Amazon. I think it was a four pack. I've used two of them out of here already on, on our Jeep. And uh, I'll show you the way I found to be the easiest way to put these on. Now these are kind of, uh, of a, they're, they're kind of really hard. You can't squeeze them whenever they're cool. But if you take a heat gun, you can boil them in water also. Let me turn that on low. And if you heat it up just a little bit, be surprised just how pliable it becomes and I'm just going to stick it in here hopefully before it cools cools off too much so I've already got it snapped in now it's just a matter of snapping it in right here
and there it is. Hopefully that shepherd's blade's not in the way. Which it looks like it probably is. Whoop. Hopefully that's uh, somewhat coming through. that easy guys less than about I don't know 10 minutes worth of work now all I've got to do is get this turned around right plug the connector in and snap that bezel back down and we are done There it is. Fixed. Five minutes worth of work. You guys take care.